Hello, welcome to Roma's Art Corner. I'm Roma and this is a brand new channel which will show you fun arts and crafts activities that you can do from home. So today we're going to draw a penguin, make origami hand puppets and build a puppet theatre. So we'll start off by drawing our penguin because I love penguins. So when I'm drawn, I like to start out using a pencil to do a rough outline. So to start with this drawing, we'll do the body. So we'll just do like a sort of oval shape. Then we'll add the feet. Just like two jelly bean shapes with an extra toe in the middle. Then for the inner body, we'll just do like a sort of heart shape at the top for his wee head. And do two lines down either side, which make the feet. Then for his nose, we'll do an upside down triangle. And we'll add the eyes, just two big circles. And lastly, we'll draw in the wings here. Just two sort of triangles with curves at the edges. Then we'll get our coloured markers and we'll colour on the nose first. A nice orange colour and then we'll do the feet the same. We'll do our outline then. We'll outline our feet. We'll outline our nose with a nice black marker. For the eyes here, we'll just do a wee outline. But we'll leave white dots in the middle to make it look like there's a reflection coming off his eyes. Then we'll outline the inner body. We'll outline the outer body. And then we'll colour the body in with the same black marker. And that's your penguin done. If you like, you could make it into a full picture. You could add in some snow maybe. Maybe an igloo. Maybe some sky. Some nice snow falling as well would be nice. And that's our penguin done. Do you hear that? I think my penguins come to life. Hello! So next we're going to learn how to do origami hand puppets, okay? So origami is a Japanese art which means to fold paper. Would you stop that? So next we're just going to show you how to do a nice simple origami. Would you stop it? Do you think we've made him a friend and leave me alone? Okay, let's try. To make your origami hand puppets you will need paper, scissors, glue and some markers to colour it on. So first you'll start off with just a blank piece of paper just fold it in half and then on the top layer you're just going to fold that in half back in on itself. Flip the page round. So what you're going to do next then is just get the corners and fold them into the middle crease there. Then you're going to fold that in half so it makes this trapeze sort of shape. On the longer side you're just going to cut a slit in it and then you're going to fold down those edges there just to make like a really long triangle sort of shape and you'll have to do this four times. Open up the paper and that'll make your shape then for your origami and then it's time to decorate it. I'm going to start off colouring on the lips of my puppet so I'll just colour them on orange. Make sure to colour on all four of them. There's two on either side. I'll add on a nose then, just so I know where the front of my puppet is. Then to add on a wee eye, I'll just draw a circle with a smaller circle inside it, which I'll colour on black, but leave a tiny bit of white in the middle. I'll colour on the rest of them now, so I'll just colour them in orange. And I'll add on some wee fish scales there, just for detail, so I'll use a darker shade of orange to do that. I'm going to colour inside the mouth here because it'll look a lot better than just leaving it white. Now on a separate sheet of paper I'm going to draw a wee fish fin and colour that in. And then cut it out. When you're using scissors make sure you get an adult to help. To add your fun to your puppet you'll notice that there's a wee gap just on his head there so just get a wee bit of glue and stick it on there and it should stay nice and secure. 
and now your penguin has a fishy friend. Look at that, now he has a friend. Oh no, I forgot. Penguins like to eat fish. Get back here. Are you two gonna play nice and be friends? Okay, be friends then. Let's make a puppet theatre for them. Hopefully they can play together nicely and be good friends. To make your theatre you'll need a big box, wrapping paper, sticky tape, a marker, a ruler, scissors, some red cloth, two pencils, a stapler and some cable ties. First of all you'll notice where the box has been opened so to start we'll just tape up the sides here to make the box as tall as possible. Next draw a rectangle shape using your ruler and your marker. This will be your stage. Draw circles at either side of the box. These will be your armholes so the puppets can leave and enter the stage. Using the scissors cut out your stage and cut out your armholes. Now remember to get an adult to help you when using scissors. Cut two holes four times above the stage. This will be for holding your curtains later. Wrap up the box with some wrapping paper. You'll fill on the box where the holes were. So just cut an X and the wrapping paper at the front so that you can sell a tip it inside then. To make the curtains, wrap some red material around the pencil and you can staple it or stick it with tape to hold it in place. Then put cable ties around either side of the pencil and put them through the holes on the box. And by the end, your theatre should look something like this. You can make all sorts of things. You could make a shark. Or you could even make a lizard. Anything you want. Let your imagination run wild. We're nearly at the end of the episode now, but before I go, we're going to have a look at some of the art that was sent in this week, so let's have a look. We've been sent this picture by Caleb Chambers who is 7 years old and he's drawn us a picture of a bee. Really good colouring and work there Caleb, and I love the detail of the honey pots too. Well done! We've also been sent on this picture by Robin Jordan who is 6 years old and she's drawn us a picture of a castle with Rapunzel and Elsa on the picture too. I love the colours on it and I love that you've added details such as grass and sky to make it a full picture. Excellent work! Now before we go, I would love to see your artwork. So if you send your art done to corner at gmail.com, we'll feature it in next week's episode. Thank you so much for watching. See you later! Bye!